Well, we continue hearing heartbreaking accounts from Israelis who are still waiting for word on their loved ones following the developments on Saturday, the surprise attack by Hamas. And we're now joined by Ayala Yechalomi Luzon, joining us from Ganei Tikva. Ayala, thank you so much for joining us to share your ordeal. Your brother, Ohad, and nephew are missing. Tell us where they were. Yes. Tell us when you last heard from them. Tell us what you are going through right now. All right, so I want to tell you about Eitan and Ohad. Eitan is my nephew. He's 12 and a half years old. And my brother, Ohad, is 49 years old. They both live in Kibbutz near Oz. At the morning of Saturday, on the attack, they actually, my brother, um, he was just um, uh, defending his family out of the safe room because there was a problem with the door. So he was outside and the children with my sister-in-law was inside and he was waiting with the gun to the terrorist. And then they sh there was shooting outside and um, probably he was injured by the shooting. And um, after they shoot him, so they opened the safe room door and they took my sister-in-law, Batsheva, and her three children, Eitan, 12 years old, Yael, 10 years old, and Liel, one year and eight months old. They took them and they put them on two bikes. One bike, Batsheva, with the two daughters, and the other bike, Eitan, the 12 and a half years old, my beautiful nephew. And they just gone to, to the fence. They just drove to the fence, and something like 200 or 300 meters from the fence uh, came uh, two tanks that actually made some uh, something that the bike of Batsheva and the daughter just stopped. And the bike with Eitan uh, uh, continued through to the fence. And Batsheva got the bravest decision and she uh, managed to um, uh, escape. What a she miracle. managed to escape what a miracle. With, with, the chill, with the baby on her uh, hand and Yaeli, the 10 years old. And she managed to escape, no shoes with her, their pajamas, and they ran back to the fields of Kibbutz Niroz. And then they done, uh, then done, they do, do themselves uh, dead because there was lots of terrorists running to the fence. So Batsheva told the little child, please make you, we will get on the ground and you will make yourself dead. And then they done it them some, them, themselves dead. And somehow uh, two of the terrorists came nearby and tell them you are coming with us. And she said, and, and she said, no, they wasn't armed. So she keep on running, she just get up, keep on running, and then somehow they um, uh, get to a bus with um, bus with uh, soldiers, Israeli soldiers. I tell you all of this, but this is just on, ju just, you know, uh, on the edge, but it's lots of hours, what I'm telling. And Ohad, was left injured, or had my brother, was left injured in the uh, house. And when our um, our force came inside the house, Ohad wasn't there. Now, and have you had any update? Very briefly, we are running out of time. I'm so sorry. Have you had any update from authorities about where they might be? Very briefly, please. Nothing, nothing. And I really... Eitan and Uhad, I don't know where they are. We really want to know where they are. This is a shame.
a shame. This is unbelievable. Ayala Yachalomi Luzon, we so appreciate you speaking to us. We are hoping for good news for you. Unbelievable story. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your trauma. And we hope that authorities do give you answers and they do that very soon.